Spider-Man will not harm anyone anymore. Watch where you're going, kid. Sorry, sir. I wasn't paying attention. Hey, have we met before? You look awfully familiar. I don't recall. The name's Ben Urich. I'm a journalist for the Daily Bugle. Oh, I used to take pictures of Spider-Man for the Bugle. Figures you might have seen me around. Parker, wow, it's great to finally meet you. My apologies for earlier. Uh, it's fine. I'm a big fan of your work. Well, I gotta run. I got a story that Robbie's been pressuring me to get all week. Robbie? Name doesn't ring a bell. Might as well give the Bugle a quick visit. It's been a while since your friendly neighborhood photographer said hi. The NYPD have formally identified the assailant as Spider-Man, following the release of the following security footage. Just as we planned, Parker is being blamed for our little trip to San Francisco. The city will beg to see Spider-Man torn from his web. And when he's alone, there'll be no one left to help him. That's the last of them, Jonah. Need anything else? That should be all, Robbie. I appreciate you respecting my decision. I'll make sure to head to the pole. You better! Oh my god, Peter. It's been all too long. Yeah, it's been all too long. Is Jolly Jonah here? Yeah, just go right in. Parker! You got balls to show up back here, kid! Okay, I... Understand, I kind of left abruptly, but- Well, nothing! I had to pay severance because you left! But, Mr. Jameson, didn't you fire me after I quit? Are you serious, Jonah? You fire someone right when they quit. Okay, I wasn't thinking at the time, Robbie. Anyways, what's going on? You haven't heard? Jonah is running for mayor. Mayor? That's right! Now that Spider-Man's gone, I don't have anything to do here! <laughs> Uh, speaking of that weasel, why has he been attacking people in California? Not sure. Come on, kid, who is he? I know you know. Mr. Jameson, if I knew, you'd be the first person I'd tell. I sense some sarcasm. Hey, Pete, Jonah's gonna need a photographer for his first speech in a few days. You think you're up for it? A what? I'd be glad to. Parker, if you aren't at City Hall by 6 o'clock Friday, you're fired! But I don't even work here! Oh! So, Robbie... What's the future of the Bugle? For now, I'll take over as chief editor. But probably Jonah won't make it far in the election, so this will only be temporary. Well, it was great seeing you. <sighs> Afraid of your own shadow, Joe? Oh my god, Spider-Man? I've been overlooking some piles, and it seems you have the genetic enhancer weapon in your possession. <laughs> I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Just tell us where it is, and you won't be hurt. <laughs> nice try, Professor. But we're bulletproof. Thank <laughs> you.
whenever he visits, but he refuses. Anna, let me put you on hold. Peter, you need to come over now. What's the occasion? Now. Yeesh. What's her problem? <laughs> What's going on? How dare you? You could have been hurt. How dare you? I don't get it. What are you talking about? You're him. Spider-Man. What? Spider-Man? But... Found this in a box you left in the closet. Aunt May, I know how this looks, but... Why? Just why would you do this to me? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What would Ben do if he found out? He wouldn't do anything! It was my fault. Your fault for what? Uncle Ben was murdered by a man I let go after a wrestling match I tried to get money for. Uh. Oh my god, Aunt May! It was a smart thing calling us instead of the hospital. With their limited tech, your aunt may not have made it. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Richards. Please, Peter, we've known each other way too long and have been through too many scrapes for arbitrary titles. It's Reed. Speaking of super scrapes, Where's the wall crawler been swinging these days? He's retired. That's not good to hear. What's happening? It's hard to explain. I just... Spider-Man isn't needed anymore. Well, I trust your judgment. I won't try and convince you to put the mask back on. And Spider-Man or not, you're always welcome here at Baxter Building. I'm sure Johnny would agree you're practically family. Aunt May, how are you feeling? A little better. What happened? You had a heart attack. But I took you to Dr. Richard's lab. And he's got you in great shape. It's a pleasure, Mrs. Parker. Do I know you? Possibly. My humanitarian work is quite far-reaching. Even by my standards, that pun was a real stretch. If you wouldn't mind, Dr. Richards, I'd like to speak to my nephew alone. Quite fine by me, ma'am. Evening, Parker. Tell me what happened, Peter. So, what's your stage name? What? Well, all these guys have little nicknames. Ever heard of that guy, Rey Mysterio? You mean on TV? That guy's name is Oscar Gutierrez. He's a pro wrestler. But WWE is just fake wrestling. You think I don't know that? Just come up with a name. How about the Man Spider? I'll one up that Spider Man. The Spectacular Spider Man. Got a ring to it, don't it? Uh, yeah, sure. By the way, this ain't fake. This guy will hurt you. <laughs> I really doubt it. Jeez, you're cocky. What's up? You want steroids? Nothing like that at all. I just know I can beat him. Guess you're really desperate for that cash. Yeah, that'll help a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Mark Johnson, and we have the Dino Sucker here. Ooh. And a new member to our underground wrestling ring. Get up there, kid. The Spectacular Spider-Man! Alright boys, this ain't TV. Don't get blood over my ring. Got it? Blood? Sorry, Mark. You look like a punk. I'm not making no promise. Whatever. Alright, the match begins in three, two, one! You lose. One, two, 
two, three, Spider-Man is the winner! Hey, your ad said a hundred grand. <laughs> you crazy kid? The ad clearly said three minutes in the ring, while you were in for only like three seconds. It's not my problem, buddy. Just take it up with the counting. Thanks. He stole my money! What the hell is your deal? You let him get away! I guess someone would say it's not my problem. The man who let get away that night was responsible for Uncle Ben's death. And I've had to live with that guilt for three years now. But there is something he did teach me. Something that made me know what he would think if he knew that I was some kid running around beating on criminals. He'd be proud. Because he taught me that night the phrase, with great power comes great responsibility. I hope you feel better. I'll visit you soon. Good evening, New York City. Some of you may be wondering why the chief editor of the Daily Bugle is presenting a speech. Well, to answer your question, I, John Jonah Jameson, am entering the race for this year's mayoral election. Wow, I've never heard Jonah actually be passionate. First of all, I've been hearing that the menace, known only as Spider-Man, has returned to our precious city. I will stop at nothing but to put him into the ground. God, Jonah's gonna try and take down some random copycat. And taxes! No one wants to pay taxes, but New York citizens, I promise you, you will never pay one more penny to the government because I will fund it all. Yeah, yeah, what is it? Oh. Uh, I can't exactly be sure about the taxes, but that will be all. Vote for Jameson and receive a free anti-Spider-Man badge. Thank you. Oh my god. What happened here? Are you? And what are you doing here? Where is it? Someone looking for their spidey suit. I bet someone's missing the black suit now. <laughs> I thought this would be more of a challenge. Not done yet! <laughs> Like the webs, this symbiote took your idea and improved it. Oh, this should be fun. Back to the world. Broke my damn arm. Pathetic. We believe we've inflicted enough damage for a day, but mark my words, Parker, this is nowhere near over. And when the time comes, I won't be as lenient. Your arm should heal within a few days, thanks to your fast regenerative healing. But who was that guy? He was a copycat. He spun webs, had super strength and everything. How did someone copy your web adhesive? He didn't. His was stronger and thicker. He took me down like I was nothing. How did he know your identity? Don't know that one either. Could it have to do with this? This was only from a few days ago. The NYPD have formally identified the assailant as Spider-Man following the release of this following security footage. That's him. He called himself Venom. The public is blaming Spider-Man for his actions. I heard. I didn't think it was something serious. They need you out there. He's a problem. But... I kind of promised I wouldn't be Spider-Man again. Like I said earlier, it's up to you. But at what cost?
Hello, Mogan. Long time no see, eh? What the? It is Spidey.